So today I'm going to be sharing how to make this stir-fried pineapple cashew tofu and it's actually really easy and like really good. It's pretty saucy so it's perfect with some rice or with some noodles. And I really love the blend of pineapple and some cashews because the cashews add that nice bite and crunch and the pineapple adds that nice tartiness to the whole dish. So of course we're going to start off with the tofu and I had here a block of tofu that I just pressed. So I usually do this by wrapping a block of tofu in a towel and placing like a flat heavy surface on top. And then afterwards we're going to just go ahead and slice the tofu. So it's up to you what type of shape you'd like but I wanted mine into these triangles. So I basically sliced them into large cubes, half them and then half them again into these triangles. So you're basically just going to repeat this for the rest of the tofu until you have all of these triangles. And then basically that's that. So it, it's around maybe one inch thick. And then we're going to go and set this aside. And we're going to basically just go and prepare like um, the rest of the ingredients. So we have here the pineapples. So these are pineapple chunks. We have here the roasted cashews. Um, so these are like whole but you can also just like chop them up if you like. And some onion, garlic, ginger, scallions, and some bell peppers, both red and green. And for the sauce, so this is the pineapple stir fry sauce. I also added in some pineapple juice here. And the full recipe is linked down below if you want to check that out. And then basically, we're just going to go ahead and cook up the tofu. So I heated up a large pan here with some oil over high heat. So once you get some small bubbles, you're going to add in the tofu. And the tofu is immediately sizzle once it's hot. And we're just gonna cook this over medium high heat until the tofu are golden brown and crisp. So we just flip this aside and try not to overcrowd the pan, but I kind of overcrowded my pan, so it took a while. And then we're just gonna cook this up for a few more minutes. And once it's golden brown and crisp, set it aside and leave it to drain from the excess oil. And we're basically gonna use the same pan here. So I just lessened the oil for the pan. And I added in the onion and the bell pepper and just stir fried it until it was tender. And I added in the garlic and the ginger and then I basically just stir fried that as well until it was really aromatic. And afterwards, I went ahead and added in the cashews and the pineapple into the pan. And what we're going to do here is we're going to basically just leave it to sit for a few minutes. And we're going to want the pineapple and the cashew to lightly brown on one side. Just kind of like toast them. And I also added in the scallions here. So I basically just move this around a bit like every few minutes just to kind of get the sides to get that light brown and like nice color. And I feel like this also gets the toasted cashews like really more aromatic and fragrant because they're a bit toasted and a lightly charred but not burnt of course. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix the sauce again and then we're gonna pour it into the pan. And basically we're gonna leave this to simmer until the sauce starts to boil and it'll slowly thicken from the cornstarch. And we're gonna leave that and basically we're gonna go back and add in the tofu. And then we're gonna mix it all up together to evenly coat the tofu in the sauce. And it's gonna nicely thicken up and turn into like a thin glaze to coat the tofu. And then that's that. So if you're happy, you can go ahead and feel free to taste and salt with season with salt and pepper if you'd like just to taste and if you're happy we're gonna go ahead and serve this up with some rice or some noodles and yeah we're done so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and feel free to like cook this up with other veggies if you'd like and yeah you can find the full recipe of this link down below or in my blog thefoodytakesflight.com and thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video